welcome to this channeled message and light language activation. I'd like to invite you to take a nice deep inhale as we settle into our space to co-create. I like to call forward a beautiful council of ascended masters and ascended ladies, ascended beings who wish to identify themselves beyond the labels of galactic or angelic or even ancestral. They wish to be identified as simply family of light, fellow divine sparks of creation, all part of the one. come from many planes of existence, many realities, and many timelines with one unified purpose and intention to assist us in connecting with the violet flame, the violet ray, and the violet plasmic energy. So I would like to encourage you to open yourself to that color, simply calling it into your mind's eye. And you may begin to see colors or shades of violet that you have never seen before, a little different than what our human eyes can see. This beautiful council is letting us know that these new violet frequencies are being anchored on the planet in the wake of our recent galactic convergence from the 888 portal emanating from Mount Shasta and spreading throughout the entire planet. They wish to share with you the fact that you may realize that Mount Shasta is often seen as the root chakra, which is red, and purple, violet, is often connected to the crown. And this is intentional for what is being experienced is like the caduceus, the completion of a cycle and a circle, alpha and omega, beginning and end and end and beginning shall be last, the last shall be first, a completion and a unification, a reunion. Some of what they will share is to be understood at an individual level and you may wish to repeat your listening of this internal to reflect. We are transmitting codes and templates for your use, for your play, <laughs> for your exploration. Uh, for your enjoyment as you embark on a new phase of expanded creation upon the planet. <laughs> There are those of you who may wish to take out a piece of paper as you may receive light codes, drawings, sigils, symbols over this next part of the transmission. We are stepping into a phase of completion, all part
parts coming together to create the whole. And linear time gently transitioning into nonlinear time. form gently transitioning away from attachment to physicality, coming into an equilibrium between form and formlessness, between seen and unseen, conscious and unconscious, physical and non-physical, heart and mind, feeling and knowing, balance, balance within the fulcrum point of the zero point energy, within and without, within and without, as above, so below, as above, so below, so be it, and so it is. You may wish to call in any of your own personal guides to assist you with the understanding and integration of these codes, these templates, to assist you in expanding your awareness, your perspective, your perception. You may wish to simply float in formlessness. There is no right way to approach the receiving of this message. There are those who will receive and listen once. There are those who will listen many times. There is no right way. It is time. It is time to release attachment to the act of judgment. This begins with the habit that some of you might have passing judgment on your physical body and extends outward to others, to people, circumstances, situations, people you know intimately, people you watch on TV or on social media, judgment. It is time to transition away from the religious programming and conditioning which has deeply been embedded in your psyche and is connected to this concept of what you call judgment. A very emotionally charged experience, which may or may not serve you and has served you to experience humanity in a certain way. But the majority of the collective are ready for a new era, you might say. For an era of pure intent around observation and witnessing and reflecting, where all are unified in their cause, in their intention, in their 
action in their thought. And comparison does not lead to judgment and detachment and labeling and condemning. Comparison leads to appreciation, to witnessing, to honoring the different threads of the fabric of creation, which each and every one of you represent. And so we invite you to check out, examine all of the cracks and crevices within your beingness where this type of judgment which is no longer serving you may be hiding. We are inviting you to be more aware and conscientious of your thoughts. Of your heart. Especially in your closest relationships and radiating out to other relationships, to other connections, whether it be a relationship with your body, with your partner with your neighbor, with someone you don't know personally but see in the public eye. It is all connected, is it not? Yarek turku sindak tisha suya. Yarek to soto riritisha nade kuruku sinayate kete kuruku shindanare we feel this is sufficient. We invite you to consider, to ponder, to contemplate in your own way and at your own pace. We simply honor your willingness to receive, your willingness to reflect, your willingness to be. And so it is, and so it is, and so it is. 